Our world is governed by laws of physics. Like what goes up must come down. And all moving things eventually come to a stop. Now the question is, can we use the laws of physics to accurately predict the spread of droplets 20 times smaller than the width of a human hair? In the past, it was more difficult. But with advances in science and computing technology, now we can. As Singapore adopts a phased approach in reopening its economy, it is important to do so in a safe manner. A star, working in partnership with the research ecosystem in Singapore, has embarked on studies to better understand the efficacy of various mitigation measures such as the wearing of masks, safe distancing, preventing droplet dispersion, and minimizing aerosol concentration in the air. These mitigation measures can help to facilitate a safer and more sustainable resumption of economic and social activities in Singapore as we enter Phase 3. To minimize the spread of COVID-19, we have to understand the flight trajectories of droplets from a person who coughs, for example. With advances in supercomputing and expertise in computational modeling and simulations from ASTAR's Institute of High Performance Computing, IHPC, a computational fluid dynamics, CFD framework has been developed that can accurately model the spread of cough droplets in Singapore's tropical environment. The simulations done by the team at IHPC take into account factors found in Singapore's climate, such as wind, temperature and humidity levels. This is the first study that accurately models the characteristics of large cough droplets which evaporate partially, leaving behind smaller droplets which can then be carried even further by the wind. The simulations derived through the crunching of multiple variables and complex equations on supercomputers produced highly accurate results that depict the paths of droplets to help advise the design of safe management measures. When a person vocalises, such as during a cough, there is a span of droplet sizes that are emitted. The small droplets are very lightweight and they are the ones where under conditions such as a light wind can even go beyond 6 meters. But the other interesting finding we found is that the medium-sized droplets, they could undergo evaporation. And then when they evaporate, they string, they become light and they can travel more. So because of this, we found that it is very important for us to wear masks because it prevents both the inside-out and outside-in transmission uh, and also to maintain the safe distances. And droplets tend to fall on surfaces in which we touch. So again, very important for us to observe uh, hygiene, wash our hands and avoid touching our face. Apart from the computer simulations, there were also physical studies designed by scientists from ASTAR's Institute of Materials Research and Engineering, IMRI. The team used aerosol generators, laser beams and sensitive high-speed cameras to study the physical effects of airflow and the spread of droplets in real life. The combination of IHPC's computational modelling expertise and IMRI's experimental design and particle sensing capabilities allowed the teams to cross validate the findings and quantify potential aerosol exposure levels in different settings and social distancing, such as in public spaces. Throughout this experience, we have been working with the public agencies, the uh, business owners, as well as the venue operators. We have come up with a few key uh, science-based recommendations that will help to reduce the risk of Transmission. The use of uh, measures such as dividers allows the blockage of the droplets from one person to another person. For example, in cases where there are interviews or conversations going on, the dividers are able to provide an effective mitigation uh, measure to prevent the droplets from spreading from one person to another. With respect to the aerosol, there are also a couple of solutions that we recommend. Number one is that the room must have very good ventilation. And this would mean that if we can uh, allow the air to clear out from the room, 
in as fast a uh, short period of time as possible, uh, we do recommend that. However, in some cases or in some venues, that is not possible. And what are the alternatives? That would be the use of things like ionizers, which will be able to uh, aggregate the aerosols on the air and pull it down. The science-based findings can be extended and customised to a whole variety of different scenarios to help support public health needs and spur more industry partnerships as Singapore continues to take further steps towards a safe reopening of our economy and borders. It is important to wear a mask and maintain safe distancing at all times. Together, let's continue to play our part to keep Singapore safe.